Ow! See, that's exactly what I don't want to happen. It hit me in the head. I decided I want to make a different video today. Um, I'm not actually going to be on this lap. Alright, I think we're good now. Okay, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to redraw, or, well, yeah, redraw a couple of my pictures. Um, I'm, I like to draw. Like, it's, it's, it's a definite hobby. And I just love it. I fell in love with it when I was younger and I've been doing it ever since. Um, I'd like to show you guys some of my drawings first. So let's get into that. Hopefully my tripod stays where it's at. Um, let's put this in here so you guys can see. There we go. Hopefully that's not too much light. No, that should be good. Okay, if the paper looks wet, it's because it is. It's been um, really rainy here lately, and there's a lot of moisture, stuff like that. Anyway, okay, here's Sands from Undertale. These pictures, yeah, I'm going to have to turn this around so you guys can actually see it. But uh, these pictures were done within a month or so of each other. So I just hope you guys like the drawings. Anyway, here's Sands. This was done six. Oh well, I guess it was longer than that. This was done um, January, February, March, April, May, June, June, June fourth of this year. I think it maybe took me 20 minutes because I had to get like all the details and all that for Sands. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn this around because the next picture is. See if I can get this close enough. Okay, yeah, here's Sans. And then here's Pokemon. There's a Charmander, a Jigglypuff, I think it's Jigglypuff, and Pikachu. Um, it's just something that, you know, I like drawing. I didn't put a date on this one, I don't think. No, I didn't. And I think this took me an hour to do because of the detailing and because I have some family stuff going on so this took me an hour to do. See none of it's bleeding, or well some of it's bleeding through because I went over it with, I actually have one of the pins that I go over it with on here somewhere. Or I did. I forgot to grab my drawings. So. And my phone falls. That's perfect. I look ratchet AF, but it literally hit me right here. Oh my god, that hurt. And as big as my iPhone is, I have a 7 Plus. It That was painful. I don't understand why my tripod's not standing. I have another tripod, which is this one, but it's not very tall. I use it for, like, vlogs and stuff. But it's not very tall so I don't use it. I'm gonna pause this real quick so I can readjust my tripod. Look wider. Anyway, here's an Eevee and I forgot the name of this Pokemon but it's one of my favorite ones. It's the horse with the fire. I know it's evolution is rapid dash. Diglett. I finished that. It was like a really bad drawing on the board. And then here's this one. Um, I don't remember where her inspiration came from, but I just drew her and decided to use neon colors instead of like regular colors. And then here come the bubble girls. These are called bubble girls because they don't have actual feet or hands. So, and their bodies are kind of shaped like a bubble. 
and that's where their heads. You'll see what I mean by when I get farther through. See, no hands, no feet, and their head is shaped like a bubble. I'm not done with her, I need to finish coloring her, but yeah, there's that one. Here's the monkey suit. I was in a really good mood that day and I just wanted to be, you know, creative and decided to draw. And here came Bubble Girl, or Monkey Bubble Girl. Um, I like how I did the hat and the outfit and the tail. She's supposed to be eating that banana. But, yeah, things happen. Here's one that I really didn't have any idea for, but I kind of just drew it. Um, I like her outfit. The dress came up a little too short, but I didn't want to fix it, so I just went ahead and colored it. And then here's the drawing that I made. It's sloppy. It's very sloppy. But um, it says Markiplier. It has the pink mustache and it says poof. And it has my initial. So this is one of my first drawing books. I think my best friend bought this one for me. And I've been using it. I also have other ones over on the other side of my room. And then here's my recent drawing pad. Let's see if I have anything in here. I have one drawing. That's another bubble girl. Anyway, but this, yeah, this is one of my bubble girls. I'm about to get a couple drawings down that I did in the past. But there are pictures that I took actually took time on. Technical difficulty, my light died. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just have to do it from like this because I don't have uh, an Android cord right now. So I'm gonna show you this one first. I did this one a long, long time ago. Like I think I was 14, 15, somewhere around there when I drew this. I'm 21 now. So this is really old. <laughs> I am very proud of it because it literally took me, oh this picture itself, it literally took me I think a week to draw because I had school and I had, you know, other things that a 15, 16 year old had to do. Play like house chores and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is, I don't remember the character's name. Um, my best friend could tell you, but I can't remember. Have you checked in your room? Did you check on top of the fridge? Just a minute, guys. I'm back. We found my cat. My cat went missing. And... It scared my mom a little bit. I knew where he was at. Oh, well, we'll just do it this way. Okay. So, yeah, this is one of my um, earlier drawings. I really wish I would have put a date on it so I knew when I drew this. Somebody actually offered to pay me to make them a drawing like this. Are you done? Yeah, somebody offered me offered to pay me for this okay now this next one um, I drew it right after my grandma passed away and as you can see in the frame I also got or grabbed my pencil bag and I'm going to finish this drawing on camera um, this drawing means a lot to me and it's just 
something I drew right after my grandma passed away. She passed away last year. Not last year. Yeah, last year. Uh, Febu February 5th of all days. And I'm Mr. Dearly. Here it is. This is an hourglass with roses on the bottom and a rose on the top. It's an hourglass with like, uh, I'm actually gonna get this as a tattoo. And, oh. but yeah. I am, um, it took me a while to draw this. I just need to finish outlining it. So, I'm gonna turn it. Oh, oh, oh no. I about knocked off this drawing under here. I'm gonna finish outlining this drawing. Uh, okay, these are the two pens I'm going to be using. Um, this is a fine tip scholar's pen. Um, brush tip point. Oh, then it says it in Spanish. Okay. I absolutely love these pens. Why won't it focus on the pen? Anyway, but there's the pen. There's one of them. It's still not focusing on the pen. But anyway, you guys saw the name. And then I got these. This is an Ultra Fine Pro Marks Ultra Fine Point Five pen. And I'm gonna turn this over to see if that makes it better. Any better? It's still not focusing. finished product. <sighs> oh, it took me forever. Because there's a lot of detail from the leaves and the roses and it's... No, it's a pause. No, pause. And it's... I love it. It's going to be the tattoo that represents my grandma. This, these little things back here are, here, 
put you down so you can see it. You can see all the detail. And I'm just really proud of this. Oh, I forgot a piece. Oops. So I'm going to end this here, and I thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Thanks. <laughs>